Hello Geminis. It is time to do your sassy singles reading. So to me a sassy single is somebody who is staying in their power. They're interested in a relationship but they um, they have some limits as to the extent to which they are going to do any compromising or sacrificing for a relationship at this time, but still open to whatever comes their way and seeing how you react. So we're going to start with um, these cards, which are kind of how you're entering the month of July. And then we're going to um, lay out five sets of cards that are potential interactions you might have with another person over the course of July. So we're starting with the Ace of Swords, the Tower, and the Two of Swords. So either you have gotten information um, or you've had an idea. So whether it's from internal or external, there is some thought or idea that has you questioning everything. So. The middle card is the tower, which is the destruction of an old structure by lightning. And what I see here with this tower is that you are the lightning. Either you have new information or you have a new idea, and that is striking down old structures. And it has you wondering what to do next with the Two of Swords. You have not yet decided how you will move forward after this destruction, disaster, complete rethinking, stripping something down to the to the base. So this could be, I don't know, deciding the nature of a of a social networking site for dating, a dating site. And either you're completely wanting to revamp your profile on it, or you have decided that it is absolutely not what you want to be involved in, and so you are backing out of it entirely. This could also mean that there is a relationship where that you have learned something new about the person, and so you are clearing, clearing the deck as far as the relationship is concerned. But usually, I would not interpret the tower that way. To me, the tower is usually more of an external structure that you're involved in, or it can be um, an idea structure that you have, um, like the way you should go about love or something along those lines, that is being completely torn down and revamped by you. Um, so, first of all, Five of Cups. So you're not feeling very good about this. Whatever it is you have learned, whatever has, yeah, whatever has you rethinking things. Also has you a bit depressed. Uh, you're kind of have to kind of recover from the emotional after effects of this. And then the response we get from another person is the Six of Wands, which to me is passing you by. This is a person who's very preoccupied with their own success and um, and the people who celebrate them. In this particular reading, I would take this as somebody who's rather egotistical and they are looking right past your sadness. So if there's somebody who you were hoping would notice, I would say that the answer to that is no, they're not. And then the Two of Cups. So this is you having some courage and saying hello to someone, striking up a conversation, and um, seeing what you have in common. You may already know that you have something in common with this person. So I want to congratulate you on an amazing recovery between this sadness here and being willing to open a conversation with somebody new. And then we have the Nine of Cups. I think what you're going to discover is that this person that you've, you're having this conversation with um, 
even though they appear to have quite a wide social network, there is an internal loneliness to them, and maybe you can identify with that, I don't know, but that that's what this person, that is what is true for this person. Yeah, regardless of how many friends or how wide their social group seems to be, there is some loneliness there. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, that gives that might be a point of conversation, the tower, or your five of cups moment, you know, so you guys may bond over that. The world. To me, this is you looking at the other things that you have in life or maybe discussing with other people, you know, the people that you meet. Um, your successes. You know, it's, this is not to me talking about relationships so much as talking about your worldview, um, your successes in life, you know, where you've been, what you've done. Um, interesting, then you get the high priestess as a response or how people will respond to you when you do that. And so, one, it could be that they keep your secrets. But I don't get the sense, really, that you are giving them secrets. You're just telling them your story. Of course, the High Priestess can also be a very good listener. But the High Priestess usually is not going to give back information unless you ask the person. And I don't know that that will work well with your idea of interaction and conversation. You might want somebody to more naturally then respond with their a story of their life or their accomplishments or their worldview. And this person is not going to do that. This person is going to remain silent unless you ask them specifically. Like you tell them about things that you've enjoyed or places that you've gone to and then you get nothing but a nod or a smile in return. You're going to have to ask that person and what is your favorite life experience to date or you know what things make you feel accomplished you're actually going to have to ask <laughs> all right judgment this would be calling up friends or ex-romantic partners from the past calling on others this particular deck stresses the call aspect of the judgment card in the Knight of Swords, they will come running. But it's the Knight of Swords is not a very romantic person, so I'm not sure why you're calling these people. This would be them like coming to your rescue, or if you're calling them to say... The Knight of Swords is somebody who has conviction for something. The Knight of Swords is somebody on a mission. So I don't know what mission you would be calling them up for, but that's essentially how you would get this person's attention, is by telling them about a mission that they want to accomplish. So if you're interested in somebody from the past and you're wanting to stir something up from the past and get the attention of somebody, you know, in other words, you're romantically interested in somebody who actually... Um, is very mission-oriented. They're not romance-oriented. They're very mission-oriented. Then that's the kind of call you're going to have to make, is calling them up and talking about the mission or how you have um, some opportunity in your environment for them to exercise their mission. And then they will respond positively. But I'm not sure that they're going to respond romantically. Ten of Swords. This is admit, admitting your defeat or that there's something is too much for you with this Ten of Swords. Something has just gotten to be too much. But when you admit that, maybe you're admitting that to this Knight of Swords. When you admit that, the person responds with the Ace of Wands, which is a desire to inspire you, to re-inspire you. So people don't want to see you um, 
defeated Geminis. They want to reignite your passion. So yeah, when you share a bit about how you're... It's interesting because here, if you're emotional, somebody walks right by you, doesn't want to know. But here, if you're me, you know, this could be intellectual defeat. It could be self-criticism, um, criticism of others, you know, kind of attack by others. When somebody sees you in that sort of defeat, then they come with the Ace of Wands. They come with passion and they want to bring you back to life. There it is. You know, just a lot of different ways for things to happen um, and people to respond to you. Um, I think that's what I have for you. These are all just potential interactions based on, you know, how you are responses based on your interactions with other people for the month of, of July, or excuse me, yes, of July. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of said July so much that I'm ready to be in August already. Oh, my goodness. All right. Take care, Geminis. I hope you're able to um, create some romance out of some of these uh, encounters, and I will see you again in August. Bye-bye.